Jair Alexander more inclined to have rockets than swamp ass, especially playing in Green Bay. He's got plenty of money now. A four-year, $84 million extension, $21 million per year in new money. It's just a shade under $20 million when you take into account what he was due to make this year under his fifth-year option. However, the Packers, true to form, they and the Bengals are the only ones who still do this. No guaranteed money beyond the first year. When I got the breakdown yesterday, I texted my source and I said, are you sure that it's all I, the only guarantee is the $30 million signing bonus, nothing else. And oh yeah, that's the Packers. Oh yeah. It's the Packers. No guarantee beyond the $30 million signing bonus. His salary for this year isn't even guaranteed, which is just kind of weird because he's going to make it. It's practically guaranteed. Yeah. But this is the way the Packers do things. They do not do any guarantees for, for veteran players other than quarterback beyond the first year. And even Jair Alexander goes along with it. T.J. Watt, last year in Pittsburgh, because they're one of the other teams that yeah, used to do it. Changed it. He wasn't buying that, and right. he forced him to change it. So it's the Packers and the Bengals right now are the two who still do it. And we'll see whether or not the Steelers do it with a guy like Minka Fitzpatrick or anyone else, whether it was a one-time thing with T.J. Watt or whether they have turned the page on that practice. Yeah, it, it is an interesting practice. It is. I mean, you know, again, the way this, the contract structure and everything, like you just talking about it a lot, like, the, the you know, the first two, three years certainly seem like you're going to collect that money or that would just be a bad business move by the Green Bay Packers. But I, I don't get it. I do wonder sometimes how the players kind of like, you know, take it as well. I, I, because if I'm Jair Alexander, I'm at least looking at the guy that just signed a contract at a corner position at, like two weeks ago in Denzel Ward and go, he got $71 million guaranteed. I'm only going to get 30 guaranteed if something bad happens or whatever. Uh, I got to think that it's only a matter of time before somebody, you know, makes life hard on Green Bay. But good for Jair Alexander. He is one of the best corners in football. There's no question. I know he was hurt last year for a good amount of the year. But truly an island corner, cover that guy, and he can shut him down. He's, he's as good as they get. He's got a big payment due early March of next year or early in the league year in March, mid-March of next year. Right. So if they would cut him to avoid that payment, he'd get $31 million for one year, and then he becomes a free agent very early. So the chances of him not getting that payment are slim, but still, guys want to have that guaranteed money. They yeah. want to know that, that they are getting that payment, they are getting that compensation, and they're not going to have to leave a team that they want to stay with. But uh, still a good deal for him if he plays out the next five years. And you know, another thing the Packers put into this, right. you mentioned the injuries. Right. He's got 650000 per year. In per game roster bonuses, right. meaning that. you got to be on the on the game day roster to get the money. So if you're injured and you're out that week, you lose one seventeenth of six hundred fifty thousand dollars, and that money never comes back. And that always gets factored into the base deal when people do these calculations. It's hardly guaranteed, yeah, especially for a guy who's missed some time. Sure, you're you're, you're gonna a seventeen game season. You're gonna miss a game or two. <laughs> it's unlikely you're gonna play all seventeen and you lose that payment if you can't play. Yeah, no, you're right. That, that's a, that's a real thing that I think a lot of people kind of gloss over. Uh, it is de definitely. Uh, it, you know, the one thing too, I'll, I'll say with Green Bay. I do like what they're doing a little bit with their football team as far as I thought they had a good draft, definitely. And, damn, they're, you know, Mike, you, when you look at them and you go, their defense, you just go, wow. You know, I mean, they've they got, got some guys on there right now where you go, they're kind of set up on that side of the ball here for a little while to where you start to go, they might be le pretty legit. You know, got Jerron Reed in the offseason. Of course, they got Rashawn Gary and Preston Smith. We know that. But then the two Georgia guys in the first round – the first rounder from Georgia at corner last year, Stokes. He's a hell of a player, like a really damn good corner. You got Jair to go along with it. I mean, so they're they're not going to have the pressure of having to worry about Rodgers always having to carry them or make things happen. This is a team that's looks like at least on paper their defense is going to be able to win them some games. Yeah, uh, and maybe maybe if they were doing the the hype for that Week One game. On Fox, like last week, it wouldn't be Rashawn Gary. It would be Jair Alexander. This yeah, week. you're right. Right on the on there with Aaron Rodgers and and uh, who who's next? Let's see. Devontae Adams is gone. Who else can we put on here? Jair Alexander, and we've kind of forgotten about him because yeah. he didn't play as much last year. But he is a special talent on the back end of that defense, and the contract shows that they believe it. 
Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.